Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is January 5th, 2021. This is the third trading day of the year. We're still in week one. The markets look like they're a little bit split. Two out of the three, or maybe if you look at three out of the four, are green. The Dow is up, and I think the Dow was up yesterday too. So we'll see what happens. I don't really care about the split markets, but yesterday there was some type of rotation, I think. I think what we saw was some some of the money was coming out of the NASDAQ and into the Dow. I think the Dow was up a couple hundred points yesterday. So we'll see the trending. The trend is happening again. So let's put on a trade for today. Let's go straight to E-Trade. So one thing that is really hard to do is knowing when should you close an existing position. So I'm going to go back to this particular trade here. You see this trade here. I collected $111 up front per contract. I had two contracts. And then what I did was two weeks later, I rolled it for $0.06 cents on the untested side. Then this week, I rolled it twice. I moved it up about $10. And again, this is the untested side, and I rolled it up for $0.09. Cents. So if you add all this up, that puts me at $126 per contract. So when should I close this? So let's go straight to the portfolio. And we're going to scroll straight down to Visa. We'll hit the Trade button. We'll just go over here. And one thing you're going to, the easiest way to see is how much would it cost me to close today? And you can see if it's less than 126, I made profit. So here, if I close it for $76 per contract, I still made money. So that's what I think I'm. I think that's what I want to do. It doesn't look like you made money because if you see it, it looks like you're losing money. So I want to start a little bit left of the mid, and then eventually I'll move it one penny, one penny up, all the way up to 76 until it sells. So that's what I'm thinking. You see this? It says you're losing $143. But that's the cost it, it closed. Remember, I collected the premium up front. I let time pass. I rolled the untested side a couple of times, and now it will cost me to close. When this happens, buying power will get released back into my account. So you see this, $81,000. I have $1,500 of buying power. So let's preview this. I'll show you real quick what that looks like. We'll hit this. Now I'm going to have to do it, oh, I thought I'd have to do it multiple times, but I did not. It went across, and if you just refresh this real quick, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to just go back and forth so that you can see, and there you go. Buying power has been restored, and I made a small profit on that particular trade. Now what I want to do is put on a new trade. So let's load up Power E-Trade real quick. I'm going to show you how to put on a similar trade for Visa. Since I just closed a Visa, I'm going to open a new one for Visa. And I'm going to untitle these check mark. I closed, I believe I closed this one, the 20, January 21, with 16 days left. Just scroll over here. This one has 44 days. So let's take a look at some of the odds before we, oops, I didn't want to, I must be hitting a key. And so let's take a look at this. I want to put on a trade. And let's construct it. I like using this screen, a little bit easier for most people. You just hit Visa. I just hit the Iron Condor button, select the date. This one is 44 days out. I don't know what I'm going to pick here. I'm just going to randomly pick anything. And then I will fix that later once I see the odds. So again, I'm just randomly picking anything right now. And then I'm going to eventually fix it. So here you go. This one says I'll it'll cost I'll get about 70 or 80 cents. I don't think I'll get the mid. So let's take a look at what this is. A 190 and a 250. A 190 and a 250. So 190 is over here on the put side. It is a 8 delta trade, a minus 8 delta, 4% chance of happening, which is a drop of you can see that roughly $33 to go to a 190, 4% chance of happening of dropping $33. On the upside, it is a 10 delta trade, almost 11, 10% chance of happening at 250. So that's the risk. What it's saying is 
those are the likelihood of it happening. It's about a delta neutral trade, which means both deltas are about the same. And yet, on the upside, is only a 27 point move to, to cross the 250. On the bottom side, is a $33 loss to get to the 190. So let's go back to that again and see if that's what really what I want to put on. Now, if you want to add more risk, you can say something like, do I think it's not going to cross on the upside? I can add more risk on this side and a little bit less on the bottom. So you have a little bit of downside risk because Visa did move up lately. So I'll show you this real quick. Or do you want to say, hey, let's not try to figure out which way you see this. It was about a week ago. It was only 216. So if you think it's going to revert to the mean, that's what you do. If you don't trust yourself, maybe this is really not a good way to do it. Maybe you should just go back with this and collect a smaller premium, play it safe, because there is going to be a little bit of volatility. The only last thing you want to check is earnings. Last thing I want to do is go to uh, check the earnings release for Visa in the future, January 27. So that's the only thing I need to be concerned about. It can make the stock move up or down on January 27. And because this is the 18, you have to factor in there could be a big move against you or in your direction. It needs to stay in this range of a $60. What I want to do is play it a little bit safer than normal. And let me just see what I will get if I play it a little bit safer. So this is what it looks like. It may not be worth the premium to do something like that. I think this was more of acceptable risk if I can close if I can get closer to 90 cents per contract. But I don't know. This is one of these things that I just don't know. I'm going to try maybe starting it safe, play it for for 2 weeks and then if I need to, I will roll the untested side. So I gave myself a, a bit of range for me to do that. So let's just try that. Let's just start out at a very high number. I'm going to start out at a number higher than I think I will actually get. And then I'll move it down, down in this case. So I'll collect the $200 up front. Of course, I don't think I'm going to get it. This is me going the opposite direction. Hit refresh. Whoops. But yeah, again, I already knew I was not going to get $100. Let's just try 100 Hit refresh. Again, I'm, I'm probably going to get under 80 cents for it, but this is a way to make sure that you're getting as much as you can. Let's try 90, which is a little bit under the mid, but even the mid don't mean that you're going to get the order filled. You can see that even at the mid, it doesn't mean you get the order filled. As you get closer to the bid, it, you have a better chance of getting it filled. So I'm just going to jump around, do 83. And there you go, I got it filled at 83, you see that. And I'll just show you this transaction so you can see the actual times. I can. These were me putting in the order and adjusting it for one penny. That was the previous order. So you can see the time difference was only six minutes for me to do that trade. From the time of closing it to the time of opening a new one. That's it for this video, keep it short. Hey, let me know what you think. Hopefully I explained it so you can see what I do. Sometimes you can learn it better uh, watching live trades happening instead of watching uh, the theories. And again, this is just a uh, one of many trades that I put on. Again, I don't have a goal this year, but most likely I'll probably hit around multiple hundreds, anywhere between 800 to over 1,000 trades this year. So don't forget, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. As always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.